I didn't boil it, I didn't make a stew out of it. You literally make it into a vitamin and you take it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Amber. I hope that you enjoy this video and go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when new videos come out. So it is May and this May I am doing a series called May is for Mommies. Every Wednesday and Saturday I am releasing a video all about mommyhood and today I'm going to be talking about placenta encapsulation. Some people think that it's gross, some people think it's cool. I decided to do it after I saw a BuzzFeed video about it and I was very excited about it. Um, I was very worried that I was going to get postpartum depression after having my baby that I wanted to do anything that could help and one of the benefits of placenta encapsulation is um, helping with postpartum depression. So that was the main reason that I wanted to do it. So today in this video I'm going to go over the benefits of placenta encapsulation, my experience with the company that I use, and whether I think it was worth it and whether I will do it again. So I'm going to be looking at my phone and according to AmericanPregnancy.org the benefits are increase of um, hormones which helps with uh, the uterus to return to normal size and encourages bonding with the infant. I'm not sure how that helps bonding with the infant, but sure. Um, increase in CRH, a stress reducing hormone. Increase in postpartum depression, or not increase, decrease in postpartum depression levels. Um, restoration of iron levels in blood and increase in milk production. It does say that placenta encapsulation can have some risk. Um, some people have negative symptoms like dizziness and jitterness after taking the pills, but I didn't really experience any of that, so I'm just going to talk about the benefits and my experience. Let's talk about my experience. I use, if you are here in Nashville, you can check out this company um, if you are interested in doing it. They are called Music City Doulas. I will put all their information in the description box below so you can check them out. And I really, really liked them. They were super professional. It was really hard to find a company that was professional enough to return my emails, to answer any of my questions. Some of them even seemed annoyed by me because I had a lot of questions about the process and um, just some of the science behind it, but they were super professional. The girls that work at Music City Doula were super sweet. They answered all my questions. I even had some crazy things that I wanted them to do, just some extra stuff that was on their website that I just asked. I mean, you don't receive if you don't ask, right? So I asked them um, to do a couple extra things and they were more than happy to do that for me, which I was so thankful for. So first I will show you the capsule here. Here is the size. It is about the size of just like a all natural multivitamin. I've seen multivitamins bigger than this. Um, and then they just put it in a vegetable capsule. How, how the experience went down was 37 weeks out of being pregnant, almost having the baby, they sent me a transportation kit and I will insert a picture somewhere here to show you what that looked like. It was basically just a cooler and then inside of it was what they called a spill kit. So if anything happened at the hospital and the placenta was spilled or anything like that. I'm not sure what exactly was in the spill kit. Thankfully we didn't have to open ours, but um, if need be the nurses could take the spill kit out, clean everything up, and then put the placenta in the cooler. Um, I'm not sure how your hospital f will feel about it if you decide to do placenta encapsulation, but our hospital was really cool about it. 
we just told our nurses we we're keeping our placenta here's our cooler and they said awesome we just had to sign a waiver right we just had to sign a waiver that said yes we're in charge of this once you give it to us it's no longer your responsibility and we won't sue you or whatever they just wanted to cover their bases which was understandable but they were great in putting it in the the kit and getting us ice right away for it so once we had it in our kit in our little cooler any family member can bring it home or your husband can bring it home who's ever available and my husband called them about two hours after we had the baby and told them okay we had the baby when can we schedule a time for you to come over and start the encapsulation process so they scheduled a time and they come over they need a very small amount of space so if you have a small kitchen like I do you do not have to worry about needing a huge kitchen for them to do this all the ladies are certified bloodborne pathogen people so I I'm guessing that just means that they know how to control bloodborne pathogens and just know the safety precautions because that's one of the the kind of dangers that you have to deal with is bloodborne diseases with this kind of work but they're all certified in that and they are going to protect your home and you and themselves and it's great they come in and they sterilize your kitchen pretty much mostly where they work but they do like the sink and then where they're working on your countertop and then they cut up your placenta and put it in a dehydrator and then they dehydrate it overnight. Then the next day they come pulverize it into a powder and then pack it into vegetable capsules and that is the process and uh, they leave a little card with how to use the placenta capsules and they had it in a little baggie and it came all the capsules were in this nice jar with their label and on the label it says um, who prepared it I had Ashley prepare it the date that they were prepared and then the quantity that your placenta made mine made 91 which the girl was pretty impressed with I guess that was that was the process the girl was very sweet who came into their house they're very respectful of your home she was actually very knowledgeable I mean that's not a surprise because this is her job she was very knowledgeable about placentas and um, she even told me I had them take pictures because I'm really interested so I asked them as something extra that they could just take a couple you know phone pictures of it and send it to me so they sent me the pictures and she informed me that my placenta was a certain word. I'll link it down below or I will let you know the description of what kind of placenta it was down below. Just it was something different. I can't remember the word. Something about how my umbilical cord was attached to the placenta. But she was very knowledgeable and she said it was that kind of placenta and how cool that was. And she had never seen that before. Um, she just seemed really excited about it which made me more excited about it. Trying to think what else they did. Oh, they did a print of my placenta, which I also asked them to do. I wasn't sure if that was one of their normal services, but I also asked them to do that. I just wanted everything because I thought it was really cool. But yeah, overall it was a really positive experience. Some of the things you do need to know if you're going to do this, have your placenta encapsulated, is the cost. We paid, I want to say $275. Thankfully my husband is very supportive in my crazy granola mom ideas because <laughs> this is kind of a granola mom thing or a crunchy mom whatever they call it. But I, I really was interested in the increase in milk production and the, the postpartum um, help with just mood swings and things like that. That's pretty much around I mean all over the board is what you're gonna see with this kind of service is about 250 275 I really like that my company I use came to my house the placenta never left our home and our possession and that made sure that that was mine oh oh another thing they are gross okay I'm just gonna be real with you 
the actual pills are just it's like taking a whole foods vitamin or something natural or something like just a natural multivitamin that doesn't taste good that's what they're like I mean it's not it doesn't taste weird or anything like that it just tastes like a multivitamin that's gross and we've all taken those now the real question was it worth it do I think it's worth it do I recommend you do it and would I do it for my second baby so for me I do feel like it was worth it definitely for this baby definitely as a new mom I had a lot of mood swings I had a lot of crying uh, episodes as I can attest to this um, and a lot of just general like gloominess after I had him just because your hormones are just completely shot I mean they control everything they're shot whenever I'd get in those moods he'd say take a placenta pills like It'll help you, and they actually really did help, I think. Do you agree? He's nodding his head, yes. They really helped my mood, and when I was just really feeling, I don't want to say it was depression as much as it was just feeling gloomy. I know people have had severe depression after having their child, and I don't think I was that bad. But I, I would, like I said, I was just gloomy, very sad, worried about things, um, anxious and generally crying so they really did help um, after I would take them in literally just a few minutes it was very quick that I would be able to I mean I wouldn't be jumping off the walls happy but I could come out of that gloom a little better whether that was a placebo effect or something else I don't know but it really really helped me I also think it did help me with my milk production after taking them I mean only a couple days right after I had him I had a lot of milk production maybe that's just my body maybe it is the placenta pills I'm not sure but I have had good milk supply and I did take placenta encapsulation pills so could be connected again there's no scientific I mean, scientific evidence, I guess, to to prove that any of these benefits are real because people react differently to things. And um, so for me personally, it did help with milk production and with um, postpartum depression and mood swings and, and hormone imbalances and things like that. And I was low on my iron and I'm sure it helped with that as well. Would I do it for my next baby? That is a great question. Um, right now I want to say no, but remembering how much it did help me with those mood swings and knowing that for my next baby I will have a toddler, I think that it might be worth it for me to do it again just so I can take those and have a general, maybe take them more on a consistent basis, just not when I'm feeling gloomy. and have a better more consistent um, mood I guess you can say especially with the toddler around it would probably be easier and but we'll just have to see with the next kid if I want to do it or not um, but do I suggest that you do it do I recommend it I do I think that it is a great experience if you can find the right company to do it and I would suggest it. I think it was great, especially for me. The experience is great. I A lot of people are doing it nowadays. I guess it's kind of a big thing because when I asked our hospital, I thought they'd be surprised, but they were like, oh yeah, we have girls do that all the time. They were really cool about it. Some hospitals though will not be cool with it, just so you know. My sister wanted to do it and her hospital is not cool with it. She's in another state. Um, some hospitals will like take it hostage and won't let you leave with your placenta so just make sure you ask your hospital if you're really interested in doing it um, and hopefully that they're okay with it um, I'm not sure why they would take it hostage like why do you want to keep it other than wanting to maybe sell it on the black market I don't know but just check with your hospital and 
I would, I would recommend it, definitely. I did recommend it to a lot of my pregnant friends. They're not as crunchy as me, I guess, so none of them are doing it. But yes, I vote yes on placenta encapsulation. I think it's great. Am I absolutely sure that it does what it says it does? No. But for me, it did help me with my moods and um, made me feel a little happier and it did help me with my milk production. That is my placenta encapsulation experience and suggestions. I hope you all liked this video. Please give it a like or a dislike if you disliked it. And I will see you all next time in the next video for May is for Mommies. Have a great day. Bye guys.